Good morning and welcome back to our Silver Run Forest. We got a uh, we've had a bit of a spillage there. Big load ready to go. I'm gonna take that straight up to the uh, sawmill this morning. Might try and let that one fall off. Go on the next one. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna get this up to the sawmill. Um what do we have in there at the moment? 40,000 litres. This should get us up to 50 or 60,000. Keep those productions up there flowing. We're going to have to maybe move some of them. Um, today we'll bring some down to the coaster. We might look at getting the uh, wood turner building so we can start making the, the railings. But uh, first things first, we've got to get this sawmill topped off. I think if we can get at least a load up there a day, just so we know that we're getting, you know, it'd be cool to get it full and just keep it topped off with the load every day. So I'm thinking we might get ourselves a bigger trailer or we'll just wait and see if one pops up for sale. I, think. I don't remember this thing being this tippy when we first got it, but oh, no, oh. crash counter. I mean, I am stacking it up pretty high. We just only need to put it to the top of the rails. But now we're filling the ride up, so. I'm not sure what jobs are available today. We haven't checked the paper. I'll have to work that out shortly. I just wanted to get this load done and dusted. Been clearing a lot of logs down there. I think we're gonna turn that, we'll clear it out, cultivate it. Maybe put some crops in there or some grass, I don't know. Make it look all nice. Okay, all emptied. What do we got up here now? We probably have a fair bit up here now actually. It's been, what, three months? Three days? I'm thinking we maybe should bring the telehandler up for the, the forklift and get this sorted um, there's no point doing that until we've got somewhere to put it so that's why I think we should we'll head over we'll go and have a look at this uh, wood turners I think it's one that makes the rails and um, get that thing up and running okie dokie what I think we'll do is we'll there's a heap of little logs over here that aren't nine meters, so we might take them to the wood turners. Drop them off. And um, it might help. I don't think they're gonna need huge, huge big logs like the sawmill will. I could be wrong. But we'll take these over. See if it does anything. And um, that'll help us kick off our productions down there because I noticed when we're driving past before there's a, a wood point there to drop off wood. So it must accept wood and maybe beams or planks or something. So I figure we'll throw these all on because they're all a bit misfit bits and pieces. I don't think it's going to do us any favours taking it to the sawmill anyway, it's a little bits. There you, know, you bugger. Alright. And there's these ones here. These One of these may be longer, because I had to cut these by hand. But I mean, the sawmill's got plenty up there. We've got plenty of um, products, so this can help us down at the, uh, the wood turners. I didn't see how much it was though. We, we've got 220 grand there. We can always sell those uh, uh, the walls that are up there that we're not needing yet. Sell a couple of those. And we should have metal today too, I think. 
So between the metal and them walls, we should be able to make our money back rather fast. Especially on the metal, because that's besides the purchase price for the production. It's uh, pretty much free. You know, a bit of equipment to move it around and deliver it. The iron ore we're getting for nothing. Thankfully. These pieces are any good to them, but cleans it up off our yard. Righty. Um, let's see if this can scoot up to the sawmill. Put one of our workers in it. They can get all that organised up there. I'll bring the truck up. At a later date, Put the door just shut so someone's in there. Hopefully, we can get this big long load into the uh, wood turners because it just looks like a little bit of a side driveway, so I'm not sure how much room we're going to have. Pretty sure it's down into this road. Whoa. Power pole would not be still there. <laughs> Realistic ish. We shouldn't be going that fast through the streets either. There's plenty of room there. That power pole is in a bit of a bugger of a spot, but. Eighty thousand. There we go. Got four thousand liters of wood in there. Not a whole lot. So we need to turn the staircase railings on. We'll turn that off and that off. Um. I don't think we need pepper grinders yet, do we? Or bowls. Let's just concentrate on the staircase railing. And we'll bring down some planks long. Which must be beams in the other game, I guess. Oh no, you got wood, wood beams up here, look. Planks, planks long, wood beams and prefab walls. The planks and the planks long must actually be full by the look of that. We got some staircase railings being made. Oops, sorry peeps, we're just trying to Get this roller coaster built. Probably should be coming into town with a little bit smaller equipment. <laughs> Maybe we should have kept that little trailer. Speaking of trailers, we might just pull up here for a second. I'm gonna have a look at the store for the second hand stuff, but I wanna see how many of these we've got now. We got one there. Two, three, four. That's okay. I think there's still 13 left. I thought we only had three. Don't know. Right, what have we got for used stuff today? They said they were going to give me a call about that other truck. I'm not sure if it's in yet. Still early. They might be, um,. Might have not been dropped off yet, or it might be out getting detailed, who knows. Right, let's head up to this sawmill, and um, load up some planks. Oakley dokley, so we're just loading up. We've got, um, I think we've got eight long planks on there at the moment. We've got six beams. The beams and the excess planks, I guess, could go to the roller coaster. A little bit wibbly wobbly, but that's going to work. You know what I'm saying? And then I think we'll try and throw one of these big wall petition things on the back. I can go to the coaster as well, just so there's one down there. 
and maybe the rest we will throw on the train. But I you betcha. Oh, there's a light pole there. We're gonna strap that down. Just <laughs> if I'm gonna put more planks on there, or long planks, I want to make sure that thing's strapped so I don't go flying. I was playing around up here when the game first came out with the forklift, and I don't know if it was just something to do with the forklift, but mate, planks were flying. Three ended up on top of one of those um, wood piles. It was just. Don't know if it was a glitch with the forklift I was using or the, the forks, I don't know, but it was just crap was going everywhere. It's good to me. We probably should have bought the um the bigger trailer. May have been a better option. We'll get this off the road so the cars can keep coming through. And, um, yeah, there's heaps of planks there too, but we can. Maybe we pick up like an auto load trailer or something for that. Fold the gate up. Right, let's head down to the uh, wood turner factory. get these long planks dropped off and then anything left we will throw into the roller coaster we do need staircase railings and I think that said we needed floor tiles or I can't remember I'll have to have a look so the roofing factory is going to be the next one that we need to purchase Have, keep an eye out at the shop for a, a used uh, auto load panel trailer or something. This trailer is actually rather stable, a lot better than I was expecting, in all honesty. Especially fully loaded up like this. Um, I was going to drive in. We may need to get some trailer that's better for this because this is. I mean, it, it's working, but it's it's not. If it makes sense. I was taking the long planks. All of them, greedy. 12,000 litres. So now we should have double the production because we've got both of those going. I'm not sure. Let's get these to the roller coaster. If we can get past that mailbox. We are definitely thinking we're going to have to come up with some way of Maybe a smaller trailer that holds 10,000 litres of planks, long planks, things like that. Make it easier. Or even a truck, whatever. There we go. Let's check what we got going on. Got plenty of wood beams, plenty of long planks, plenty of planks. We got some metal in there. Prefab wall. We need floor tiles. See, 
That's what we're going to get. Floor tiles. So, who sells them on this map? And how much is it going to cost me to purchase that? Flooring factory. Oof -da. Um, we're going to have to get it, regardless. It needs planks long and planks, so luckily we didn't take all the planks longs to the other one. And luckily the uh, telehandler is still at the sawmill. Let's go and grab them, load us up some more, and um, come on top off this factory. Right, so I just leased this trailer. It is a pallet auto load trailer. It does look similar to the other one. It is smaller. I don't know if it works with these products. We're going to find out. Let's see what happens when we get to the planks. Oh, he's loading them up. Look at that. Wicked. That is wicked. Don't know if it works for the other productions yet, but other products, I mean. So, takes planks and planks long, so that is killer. And I think it only takes one production at a time, one pallet type. But, it's a flat deck trailer, so we should be able to put other stuff on there too. Let's leave those three there for good luck. Let's try and get some of these on the back. What's the formula on that? Because I don't know. I think we just do the planks. It's more cycles per month. And that's the only thing that we've got that needs them at the moment, right? That's what I think we're going to do. Because there's no point. There's 24,000 litres there. It's probably not going to take all of them. Let's just throw the rest on just so it's done. And whatever's left can go to the um roller coaster. Don't even have to strap them on, they're already there. Well that was better than I expected. It'd be interesting to see if it works with the um beams and the uh, planks long long planks planks long the longer lumber not the beams though these guys just pull out in front of anybody look at that 155 this trailer mustn't weigh obviously with them on the back you seem to be a lot of weight but obviously it's not recognizing it because it's not in the pallet it's in the custom little boxes seems to drift, not fall over, I think we drove past it, it's up here, lucky that gutter was there, those people might not have had kneecaps left, Let's see what happens, Is it full? Wicked. So turn that off for now. We got flooring factory tiles coming along. We got 17,000 litres of this to take to the roller coaster. I don't think the roller coaster is going to take it all. Doesn't want to sell them way too much stuff to them and make it a fortune. Let's 
truck needs a wash and probably a rebuild. She's getting up there. The servicing starting to be like a daily occurrence. Two days maybe at the moment. Sixty grand straight away. That just came off our wood turning facility. Plus we had an extra twenty grand before, so we're pretty pretty much in the clear on that one. We just got to get a another hundred and ten grand. It didn't take them all either. The buggers another hundred and ten grand, um, and the flooring factory's done, dusted, and paid for as well. It's cool. Alright, I'm going to head up there, we'll get some more, and we'll um, check on these contracts available today. Oh, well, she just had a call, we can chuck a U-turn. Apparently our truck's ready, the new, the new one the guy got, but traded straight back in for something else, so... Um, I said, oh, it's not there, I might be over at the gas station, hang on a second. We'll unload this one. Give it a bit of a tub. I said if you want we can trade this one in here, we'll have to service it first, obviously. Um but we are they're willing to let us take that one today. Get a bit of a test run. See if we like it. And uh, if so, and yeah, we'll service this one while it's here anyway, just so it's done. Let's see what they're going to give us for it. Oh crap, I just sold it by accident. We should have got more than that because I didn't service it. My bad. This is a big beast here. TLX 9000. Looking fresh. Big stacks on it. Headache rack. Got lights up top and behind. Big flashes. All the chicken lights down the side. What a beast. Let's see what she does. Definitely got a little bit more pickup. Actually, what we need to do... We need to go and pick up some of our metal. Don't think the auto load trailer will work for that, but we should be able to. Um, no, nope, I don't want to open the doors. Yep, should be able to put the forklift on this, and we'll give that a bit of a twirl down there to pick up the metal because we are going to need. As much money as we can to buy this beast. And now we've got no other truck because I accidentally sold it. Pretty sure they could hook us back up with it if um we decide not to keep this, but that's 40 grand. I think this one they said there was a hundred. So we need another 60 grand to get this thing ours. It definitely picks up quicker. This is going to be a stable. Got some go about it. I think it's a 2000 horsepower CVT 18 speed or something like that. 
The old one used to do 155. This one says 255, but I'm just... Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever see that speed around here. We shouldn't, because the local law enforcement will not like it. Alright, let's get into this thing. Oh, I can't get into that forklift, can I? My bad. Close these pallets up, forks up a bit. Try and see if we can squeeze them together and pick up two at once. They are heavy. We may have to push them the other way because um, that rock's in the way there. You can see that a minute ago. So open them up a tad. These aren't sitting on there correctly, but hopefully they will get us onto the trailer. That's why I don't use forks. Just ain't too good at it. I think what we'll do is we'll drop a couple of these at the roller coaster. And then just sell the rest off. Wasn't so painful. I was thinking about pushing it then to see if we get four, but let's just let's not make a mess of it. Because that's all that's gonna happen with me. Big old mess. Squeeze these two together so we can maybe pick them up together as well. We can. We got two, four, six, eight. If we sell all these, that's going to leave us with enough money to buy that truck. Close that up. Um, can we sell these? This thing feels a little bit longer than the last truck. Maybe it's a little bit stretched or just because the cab's different, I guess. Geez, clean inside. They said they put some little decorations in the bed for us. Little, uh, I suppose we better stop before I look out there. Turns on a dime. Two seventy six. There you go. We can pay for this truck now. I'm pretty keen on it. I like it. So I'm just going to take the game. And I put down the 110,000. And that is what we're doing. It's ours. What a beast. Alright, I'm going to go and sign some paperwork. We will see you in a minute. Alright, so we're just looking at a plow here. I'm just going to lease it. Just want to work out and run ourselves around a little barrier. Hopefully this thing can pull it. 
Um, otherwise, there is cultivators you can get. But why is there a tree? In the middle of the field. Um, that's weird. Yeah, otherwise you can get cultivators that allow um, field. What's it called? I can't remember the name now. <laughs> but you can make fields with them still. There's a mod, so... There is still a couple of trees we've got to knock down. That's why I'm just leasing this one, just to get a rough idea where we want it. Um, I did draw a bit of a, uh, what would you call it? A border. Let's see how we go. If you put this on backwards, almost anything should run it. Um, we're going to find out. Probably should have just got the six meter. I didn't. Yeah, this tractor's a baby, so it's not really, not really good, good, and it's probably going to be too wide for some of the trees that we got laying around. But I'm not going to go right to the edge with this one because I'll come along later on and do a, a, a like a, a square edge where we can. Let's see if it runs it. Not too bad. We're doing 17 k's an hour. I'm sure if I put it on the right way, it, uh, it won't work. So we're just going to pretend this is the right way and mark out a bit of a, a bit of a border for us. And then what we'll do is I'll come back. I'll lay these big trees down. Um, load them up. I've got the telehandler on its way back so we can take another load up to the uh, sawmill. Get that topped off as much as we can. What have I forgotten down here? Is that rocks or something? But it should be a pretty decent field. I mean we we are going to re, you know, regenerate and put more logs in in other places as well. Um, but I just think this is a nice sort of flattish piece of ground. And it would be good to keep it close to our farmhouse for now. Close to the shop. Easy to get seed, fertilizer, all that stuff. So I just think we'll run, yeah, you know, run it right up here. And it's going to be a little bit odd shaped around the far side. Unless we just cut across and do like a square one through the middle of the field like right now. Um, not going to be a huge field if we do it that way though, right? Well, maybe... Let's go and have a look. Where we've started over here, if we come shooting straight across, it's going to be part of the field we've got to plough regardless of what shape we make it. Maybe we just do it across... Here for now, have a bit of a squarish one, and then later on we can add more up there. I don't know. Let's see what we're going to hit coming across here. We may have to move the forest, forestry harvester, the tree harvester. Um, yeah, we're going to have to move that. See if I had the six meter one, it wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Even this size for now is going to be perfect. I mean, it's not small. It's bigger than the other grassy area I was going to buy. Like up where we've got the iron furnace. I was thinking about putting a field in there, but that's like half moon shaped. It'll just be a pain in the butt, I think. It must have stones turned off because there's no stones. I mean, this is going to be a pretty decent field, right? I don't think we can plant anything for a few months anyway, so there's going to be no rush to um, getting some in, but I'm actually more, I am, I'm just going to keep this for now. Maybe over here we can put in some cows or chickens or something if we decide this field's big enough. There's already like two or three other fields we can purchase too. So, um... 
Yeah, I don't want to focus too much on farming, farming, but it is a farming simulator. And people do clear trees to put in farmland. So I think we'll just, yeah, I reckon that size is pretty good for us right now. Especially with the limited equipment we're going to have. That's, that's going to be on the money, I reckon. Get that out of the way. So what we might do is we'll get the truck. We'll get this trailer off the field. There's a few little bits and pieces we're going to have to clean up. Maybe some little log ends and some stumps that we've missed. We've got to lay down these big trees. and Well, let's just do that now. Let's just roughly guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll just count out some steps. Seven steps. See how close we can get to nine meters. Oh, that went hectic. It's all trimmed up. We'll do seven seconds. So uh, count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I normally count steps, but my volume's turned down so it doesn't interact with the microphone. 11 meters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 12 meters. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to bother with that little bit. Alright, where's our truck? That auto load trail is pretty good. We'll try it with some other stuff later on, but I think moving forward with our productions and things like that, it's going to be super handy to have that. Um, I'm also thinking with like the planks and beams and things, maybe we could set them on to distribute for now because we've only got them going to certain, we only need them in certain productions that won't take them to the, I don't think it'll take them to the roller coaster because it doesn't show up as a production. That's something that we could keep an eye on. But at least we know if we get busy doing other things, our planks and beams and things like that are going to actually go to where they need to go. And they're going to have them as soon as they need them. The iron facility is producing enough metal for now. I know that later on down the game, barrels and buckets and things like that are going to need metal as well. Um, hopefully that'll keep up with that. If it doesn't, we could probably already you know, add a second one in. Because basically the iron ore is unlimited. You know, we'd, I don't know, maybe get 30,000 litres a day out of that mine. And I think it only uses about 10, 15,000 litres a day in metals. So, um... I don't think it's that, that's a big issue. The biggest issue is going to be is keeping that sawmill filled. And because so many things use planks and beams and long planks, that's going to be the... Um, I think that's going to be sort of the governing thing on this map. Because if you don't keep that... If you don't put them where they're needed, you'll have to wait till the next day if you put them somewhere that you sort of... <laughs> don't need them. And also, I think we'll just... For now... We'll turn off the productions that we don't need. So, you know, if we don't need to make... Um, one, once we've got enough beams or walls or whatever, maybe we turn them off so it doesn't use up the product that we need for the main items to finish it. So, if that makes any sense. That's hard to concentrate and talk. <laughs> Didn't get it. Didn't we get him that time? 
I love this little thing. It's got the weights on the back built in. It's still got a trailer hitch. I mean, this is probably a little bit over weight for what we need um, at the moment. <laughs> but I see a pile there. I want to take it all at once. That's just that's, that's how it works. And that one just fell off the side. I definitely think we are going to get a bigger bigger log trailer because this one, I mean, it works great, but it's just. We'll see. We're going to have to find also more land to get logs from too. Don't have a whole lot around in this area that we've got. That's why I want to do some chickens and um, some farmland. Help keep things chugging along so there's a bit of a mix of things to watch. Everyone's out there doing the logging and it's sort of, you know, if you watch multiple gamers like I do, it's sort of... I don't want people getting bored of, we all do different things, and that's what I like about it. I like watch a few different guys that do it. Um, and they're doing it differently to me, they're using different equipment, they're using different um, areas, going a different way with things, so like it's good to see, I don't know, as, you know, imagine working for giants and building this map, and then, you know, you watch later on and you see random people doing random things like just clearing a whole field on a mountain and putting grapes there or something so I don't know I think it's pretty cool how you can do all that sort of different stuff on here and there's it's a good map it's, it's I like it I didn't realize there was still this much left up here I don't know if I'm gonna get it all on one load see how much um, wood is in our lumber mill yet either. Sixty-eight thousand. So I don't know. Maybe it holds a hundred thousand liters. I'm not sure. We'd probably need two more trailer loads to get to that point. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. I want to try and squeeze the rest of it on. I just don't think we can. There's still a pile over there and some up there, so I think we will take this thing on its first journey up there loaded. And see what we break. Got a nice big flasher. Lots of nice LEDs. Hopefully it's a little bit more stable than the other truck. We still have to pay 40000 on the rest of this truck. We did put some down. I think we've put down 60000 plus our truck. So that's hundred grand. i will have to work out what it was. It might have been twenty grand, 118000 She's a clean rig. Hundred and sixty. <laughs> It feels a little bit more stable and the other one doesn't want to tip with the trailer. But I'm sure we can make that happen. <laughs> Jake break day. Would still love to be able to load up the train down there and then bring it up here and just dump it into the edge. That would be cool. All right, I'm gonna head back, grab the rest, and we'll see you up here in a minute. And welcome back. Uh, enough to almost a full load. We still have a couple of those big spruce trees to chop down, but they're not in the way of where the field's going to be, so I thought we'd bring this up. That's cleared out now. 91,000, so maybe it holds 100,000. We're going to wait and see. I don't know if we can keep dropping lumber off once it gets to that point. 
or if it just stays floating until it needs it, that would be good. But at the same time, you're going to get to a point where you can't put any more in. So. Is that on a bad angle like that? Want to come out? Come on! You just go to your home! Right, there we go. I think what we'll do is we'll go down now, we'll run around quickly with the skid steer and make sure that there is um, no stumps. And probably call it a day. Um, have a nap. Come back and in the morning we'll start ploughing up the rest of that field. Go and get some iron ore. We'll take our stones up that we have up there as well so we can sell them off. We've got to take the trailer up anyway so may as well take them up. Get a bit of cash, paper some diesel. And bring the iron ore back. Actually we'll have a quick look. The roller coaster is progressing. We're starting to get that loop ring around the top, so that's good. I can't believe I sold that truck by accident before. <laughs> Too busy thinking about what I was going to do and forgot to service it. Um, planks, we got heaps. Wood beams, we got heaps. Planks long, we got heaps. Staircase railing, we got enough. Metal. There's enough. We need floor tiles. I don't think... Oh, we've got enough of that too. And we've got prefab walls in there too. So we should be good for another month or so. Um, and we'll just have to add in whatever else we need on top of that. But we're looking good on that on that front. Keeping up with all the productions we need. I, we do have to buy the barrel and buckets production. And I think there's a roofing production we need to purchase too for the shingles later on down the line. So I think if we just keep working towards that, keep topping everything off, we're going to, you know, that's going to work out pretty decent for us. So let's just jump in this. We're going to have to move all of the bits and pieces, but at least now we've got that stuff. If we need to do rock breaking contracts and things like that, we can. I think it's a pretty decent sized field. For the level that we're at at the moment, I think that's going to do us fine. Sorry about that, I forgot to turn my phone on silent. I didn't think I'd get any messages because it's late. But, work never stops. Alright, so let's just, we'll put this over here a bit further. Saves double shifting it. It's going to be a pain in the bum to get back on later. I wonder if we can pick up the, the um, rock breaker in the bucket. That would be super handy. My bird is going nuts. Wolf whistling. Must be looking at himself in the mirror. Ah, oh, that bucket's not for this, it's for the telehandler, so that's why we can't pick it up. The telehandler can pull that trailer with 20,000 litres of stones in there, but. The front wheel was coming off the ground a little bit as we we're trying to turn, so we'll leave that sitting here. That can go on the back of the truck, hopefully. That's what I haven't tested yet. I'm not sure if that's going to fit on the back of that truck without dragging. Fingers crossed, I'd say. We might check that before we head to bed so I can sleep tonight. I'm not freaking out about it. I don't think we own this bucket, I think we leased it, so. We're not doing too bad on the cash. But at the same time, um, 
I don't want to go spending crazily. You know, we are going to need to lease a cedar, fertilizer spreader, things like that. Um, and there is some cheap small harvesters we can use, so that's not a, not a big deal. I know sometimes on these TLX trucks that the, the hitch is really low. Because this trailer is not super long, it shouldn't be a drama like the other ones. There we go, look at that. It fits. Wicked. Alright, well that's where we're going to leave it today. I'm going to um, duck up, get some dinner, get into bed, and um, bright and early we're going to be ripping up this field. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and a subscribe if you want. See you on the next one.